Hey everybody, this is Caden from Achievement Hunter, and April showers have brought May flowers, and while everything is in bloom, it's time for another episode of Coming Soon. Let's hit the multi-platform releases first. Releasing May 1st for the 360, PC, and PS3, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon finally hits the market. Originally thought to be an elaborate April Fool's joke by Ubisoft, it was revealed later in the month that Blood Dragon was no joke and would bring Far Cry to the future year of 2007. Blood Dragon's plot can be summarized as a 1980s blockbuster movie view of the future, and doesn't disappoint in that respect. Full of laser guns, beam swords, and giant robotic dinosaurs, what more could you honestly ask for? The long-delayed Metro Last Light finally gets released on May 14th for the 360, PC, and PS3. Following THQ's closer, the future of many of its IPs were thrown into the wind. Lucky for us, the nearly complete Metro Last Light wasn't tossed aside. Now being published by Deep Silver, Last Light is the sequel to 2010's Metro 2033. Said to have ramped up its creepiness both in storytelling and visuals, the game is said to balance its action segments well with its survival horror elements, giving players the full Metro experience. Developers 4A Games have made it very clear that the focus of the development was on single player and that there would be no online mode ship with the game. However, pending success and fan response, there would be a possibility of a multiplayer mode being added later on. Meant to tie in the plots of past Fast and the Furious films and the new Fast and Furious 6, Fast and Furious Showdown releases on May 21st for the 360, PS3, PC, 3DS, and Wii U. Built around co-op, Showdown encourages you to work with your friends or AI bots to accomplish various mission objectives. With a ton of locations from all around the world serving as the setting for the game's 31 missions, Showdown will give you a nice taste of life in the fast lane. Previously only released on the 3DS, Resident Evil Revelations makes its way to the 360, PS3, Wii U, and PC on May 21st. Along with upgraded graphics, this home console port introduces two major changes from its handheld origins. The first is the randomization of item placement throughout the main game. This reintroduces the survival horror element of the series, making players rely more on their skills to navigate through the enemies more efficiently rather than memorizing item placement. The second change is in the new mode dubbed Raid Mode, which is a twist on the usual Mercenaries mode from previous Resident Evil games. Raid Mode is more of a score attack game type that has you playing as Hunk fighting off hordes of mutated undead in more confined locations. You'll be graded on your overall performance and the point earned can be used to purchase new gear and equipment to better fight off the creatures. Additionally, all the missions in raid mode can be played cooperatively. Call of War as Gunslinger for the 360, PS3, and PC returns us to the Wild West on May 22nd. Gunslinger, unlike its predecessors, has much more tongue-in-cheek humor with arcade-style first-person shooter gameplay. With a quirky story told as the main character remembers it, causing the world to have sporadic changes when he remembers something wrong and corrects himself, Gunslinger definitely brings some unique traits to the table. Gunslinger is fast-paced and over-the-top with its action segments, keeping the gameplay moving from one shootout to the next. May 22nd also gives us the incredible adventures of Van Helsing for the 360, PC, and Mac. A traditional action RPG, Van Helsing is set in a land based on Bram Stoker's novel Dracula and has you playing as the son of famous vampire hunter Abraham Van Helsing. The game's leveling system gives the player full control of power-ups and skills. Additionally, the leveling system allows for the modification of these skills on the fly, allowing you to gear yourself properly to fend off large amounts and varieties of creatures. Originally announced as Overstrike, on May 28th we'll see the release of Fuse for the 360 and PS3. Developed by Insomniac Games, Fuse is a class-based third-person shooter that focuses on the exploits of the overly snarky ragtag team Overstrike 9. The classes and characters include a mercenary built around confronting large groups of enemies head-on with an energy shield, a thief made to get behind enemy lines and assassinate more deadly targets with the use of a cloaking device, a scientist class crafted to turn the tide of battle by locking down groups of enemies with a bubble gun, and a detective class meant to spot, stun, and completely disable enemies using an electric crossbow. Much like the Borderlands series, Fuse can be played single player, but it's truly meant to be played multiplayer, so grab some friends. Also releasing on May 28th is Grid 2 for the 360, PS3, and PC. Grid 2 introduces a new style of control for racing games dubbed True Feel, meant to blend the line between easily accessible and more realistic controls. Aside from career, Grid 2 includes several other game modes, Quick Race, Endurance, Drift, Toge, Checkpoint, Face Off, and Time Attack, as well as three rival game modes and an anti-griefing game matching system. One of the coolest features added in later in the development is the ability to record the game and then upload your recordings directly to YouTube in-game, allowing you to share your best moments without any other software needed. The last multi-platform release is a delayed game from March, Leisure Suit Larry Reloaded, to finally be released on May 31st. And it will be available on 360, PS3, PC, Mac, Linux, and smartphones, leaving absolutely no one out. Reloaded is an HD remake of Leisure Suit Larry in the Land of the Lounge Lizards, originally released in 1987. The game stars Larry Laffer, a 40-year-old virgin currently living in his mother's basement who decides that he has had enough and ventures on a quest to finally lose his virginity. Besides completely remastered artwork and music, the remake also includes a plethora of fixes, an additional girl, and a greatly expanded dialogue tree. With the multi-platform games taken care of, let's take a quick peek at what exclusives we can expect this month. 
For me, Nintendo consoles have a few new titles sprinkled on top of an abundance of ports. Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut will be released on May 7th for the Wii U. This version of the game includes the DLC, fixes to some slightly bugged boss battles, and Wii U tablet functionality. The fifth game in the Mario vs. Donkey Kong series, Mario & Donkey Kong Minis on the Move, releases May 9th for the 3DS. Minis on the Move includes 180 puzzle levels out of the box and will also include new, more action-style levels as well. Besides those basic levels, a stage creation mode has been added, and you'll have the ability to share created stages via Street Pass. Following up last month's digital release of Mega Man 4 on the Nintendo 3DS eShop, Mega Man 5 gets its release on May 16th. A year after its multi-platform launch, LEGO Batman 2 DC Super Heroes finally makes its way to the Wii U on May 21st. We'll see two games released on May 24th. The first is Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D, a port of the original 2010 Wii game. The 3DS will include two separate game modes, Original, which is the same as the Wii version of the game, and New Mode, which adds in new items and extra health to make the game easier. Additionally, there will be an extra world not included in the Wii version added to the game. The second game for May 24th is yet another port to the Wii U. This time it's 2012 Sniper Elite V2. The Wii version of this game has been updated to make better use of the console's tablet controller. The final exclusive for Nintendo consoles this month will release on May 30th, and it is the 3DS eShop release of The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages. The original Game Boy Color games featured a linking system that allowed for the continuation of the game's plot. This has been confirmed to be included in the 3DS version as well. The Xbox 360 has no currently announced exclusives for May. Sony consoles only have one exclusive lined up for this month, Dust 514, releasing May 14th for the PS3. This free-to-play first-person shooter MMO is directly connected to another game developed by CCP Games, EVE Online. It is confirmed that player actions in one game will affect the political and economic status of the other. A port, some expansion packs, and some brand new IPs are on the list for this month's PC exclusives. On May 1st, Fez, a previously Xbox 360 exclusive, will be making its way to PCs. A Mac and Linux version are planned to follow the PC release. Having its original release delayed, Might and Magic Hero 6 Shades of Darkness will finally release on May 2nd. This standalone expansion introduces an entire new campaign, new faction, 20 new creatures, 10 new buildings, and 3 new artifact sets. Ballpoint Universe releasing May 10th for both PC and Mac combines simple platforming with intense shoot 'em up gameplay, all while having an art style that is charmingly created entirely in the style of a ballpoint pen doodle. In Ballpoint Universe, you'll be able to collect parts and build your own ship similar to the gummy ship segments of Kingdom Hearts to fight off hordes of enemies. Fallen Enchantress Legendary Heroes, a retail expansion pack for Elemental Fallen Enchantress, a strategic empire-building strategy RPG, releases May 22nd. The expansion introduces a new leveling system, new battle maps, new monsters, more magic, updated graphics, and loads more. The Night of the Rabbit, releasing May 29th for PC and Mac, features classic point-and-click adventure gameplay. Developer Daedalic Entertainment, creator of the Deponia series, has said that this would be their largest point-and-click adventure game to date. Finally, on May 31st, Kinetic Void will be released for the PC, Mac, and Linux. Kinetic Void gives the player an open-world universe to explore with user-created ships. You'll have the ability to join or fight numerous factions while venturing off into the stars, creating your own adventure. Unfortunately, there's not much in the way of currently announced DLC this month. Sometime in May, Tomb Raider will be getting its next multiplayer DLC map pack titled Shipwrecked, available on 360, PS3, and PC. It will be adding two new maps, Lost Fleet and Himiko's Cradle. May also marks the release of the new Borderlands 2 character, Krieg, available on the 360, PS3, PC, and Mac. As of now, Gearbox has not commented it on a solid release date yet. Krieg, despite appearing as a melee class, has three very different skill trees. Mania is indeed the melee combat tree, focusing on high-risk, high-reward, direct combat tactics. Hellborn, focusing on elemental damage, particularly fire, includes a skill that allows Krieg to light himself ablaze. And finally, Bloodlust is a ranged combat tree, reintroducing the skill stacking mechanic. The faster and more consistently you can do damage, the more bonuses you gain. DC Universe Online gives players a new DLC expansion pack, Origin Crisis, for PS3 and PC in May, again with no confirmed release date yet. Origin Crisis takes place after Brainiac has been defeated, yet the superhero supervillain war continues to rage on. This DLC is described as more of a what-if scenario, having players time travel and visit alternate universes. Included in this will be two new raids, new origin operations, gear, achievements, and more. And a follow-up to last month's Assassin's Creed 3 Redemption DLC release, Wii U players will finally be able to finish the DLC story on May 16th. Before we wrap up May's video game release info, I'd like to remind everyone that on Tuesday, May 21st, Microsoft will be announcing its next generation console. The event will be broadcast on Xbox.com and Xbox Live and will begin at 10 a.m. Pacific, which is 11 a.m. Mountain Time, 12 p.m. Central, and 1 p.m. Eastern. Microsoft confirmed that they will disclose more information about the console at this year's E3 as well. With that, we conclude May's video game releases. So don't forget to charge your controllers, folks. I'll see you next month for more.